So in this case, let's click OK. So now the new component is registered as the 24th component in my list. And you see, you have critical temperature, critical pressure, ascentic factor, molecular weight, critical volume, specific gravity, and boiling point, all of which are generated or obtained from yeah library or from the textbook. Okay, these are the numbers that we use all days in our yeah chemical computation or experiment. But for the C twenty plus, the properties is generated using correlation that I have selected previously. Okay, it's not component that we see in the library it's my own component okay i measure it i i obtain it i use it in my lab, lab laboratory and then yeah i i just input the molecular weight and also the specific gravity and then using that data the t navigator or the pvt designer will estimate the critical temperature critical pressure and others for C20 plus. Okay. Now you see here, I need to provide the data for the composition. Okay. Composition here or the fraction. And we can provide either molar fraction or in percentage of molar mass or percent mass. Okay. Here. Okay. So by the way, in this case, I have two samples. Okay, the first one is the lighter one. So I will duplicate first. The first one is, I will call it light. Okay, for example, light condensate. And the second one is the heavier one. I will call it heavy. Okay, so I have two fluids, light and heavy and they have different compositions. And I have the data, the composition for, for both fluids. I save them here. I will go to my folder. Okay. Okay. So here I have stored the, the data for for my experiment here or for my simulation here, for example, the light component. Okay, here you can see the composition, components and also the fractions and the heavy one. Okay. Okay, so now I will input the composition into this one. Okay, you can copy from your spreadsheet and then paste the composition here, but make sure that the you have, for example, nitrogen number one, and then CO2 and then C1 and so on and so forth. Okay. You need to be careful with, with that. Okay, which one comes after, which one is before, something like that. Okay, so I will prepare my data. I will copy my data and paste the data here. Okay. Okay, so I have copied my data and I will try to paste it here. Okay. All right, so now you can see I have pasted my data here. So I have provided with molar molar fraction. Okay. Molar fraction, not the percentage of it for the light component or for the light fluid. And I will go to the second fluid, which is the heavy one. Okay. I will input the molar fraction. So I will copy my data and paste it here. Okay, I have copied my data and I will try to paste it here. Okay, so far so good. 
And please make sure that if you sum all the components, sum the composition, you will get 100% or you, you will get one. If you use fraction, then the total of it will be one. If you have percentage, then the total of it will be 100%. In this case, I achieve one kilogram mole per kilogram mole for fraction. So it means that my composition is already correct from nitrogen down to C20 plus for the light component and also for the heavy component. Okay, so far so good. I will minimize this column. Okay, so what next? After providing the composition, now the next step is I want to create saturation pressure curve, okay? Saturation pressure curve. Now we start to be more serious here. Click plus, okay, experiment, and then select saturation pressure. Okay, saturation pressure is really, really important. 